Who owns Mitchell Cricket Green? This is a question I was asked recently, and I thought, well, isn't it Merton Council? So, follow me as I go through a website and some software to try and establish who owns the Cricket Green. I put this freehold plot boundary map webpage on my website, Mitchell History Notes, in 2015. At that time, prior to the referendum and the subsequent departure from the European Union, there was a tie-up with the EU and the U as a part of the UK government's open data scheme such that boundaries of freehold properties could be viewed online for free, which I thought was a pretty neat thing. What you basically get is an outline of each property and you get a number which is called the INSPIRE identification number. It came from an EU directive, the infrastructure for spatial information in the European community. And my web page has an example here of a uh, vestry hall and the reason for that was to try and work out the boundary of the fire station which was this bit here. Bizarrely, the vestry hall, this enclosing area, meant that, in effect, the fire brigade had asked permission from the local council to drive fire engines across vestry hall land into the fire station and back out again. When the fire station was sold off by London Fire Brigade to the developers, it was pointed out that they didn't actually own this forecourt area. And I think subsequently Merton Council sold it to them from a, for a knockdown price. Anyway, this map I thought was available online. And when I went to check, uh, it, it no longer is. Let's see if I click the link I put in here. Click here for Mitchell Opens in new new window. We'll look at the new window. And it gets stuck on this calling web map services. And I thought that might be something to do with a referendum. However... A comment on Twitter recently, when I again mentioned this point about losing this map, was that, in effect, although the online map on the website is no longer available, the data still is. So you go to GovUK website and search for Click on HM Land Registry, and under these options, there is Data Sets. And under here, it says, you could use this in research. Yes, okay, I'm doing some research. And what we're actually looking for is, here you go, the Inspire Data. Index of Polygons, Special Data. What it basically gives you is a GML file, which is a geography markup language file, which is based on the XML stand, which is horrible. But you can view and download the polygon lists, and you will need a geographical information system to view them. Let's have a look. Oh, you can use the data, conditions of use. You must acknowledge the source of the data. Well, okay, well, I'll, 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 I'm showing this on the screen now and I'll put that in the description of this video. This information is subject to Crown copyright and database rights and is reproduced with the permission of HM Land Registry. Oh, I'm not reusing the polygons, but anyway. Access the data. Yes, access data. And now it says the index, da index polygon special data, Inspire, this data set was published on the 5th of May. So that's handy. This is very up-to-date information then, isn't it? So let's have a look for Merton. Does that come under L? Yes, London Borough of Merton. Download. Ah, 6.8 megabyte file. Now, as this website told me, I need a geographic information system viewer of some kind. And I've had a look around for this and there appeared to be 
And this appears to be what I need. A free and open source geographic information system program. And it needs to be downloaded on your computer. So I've done that. And here we go. There's a lot of buttons on this. But basically what we need is zoom in. There we go. That was what we were looking at earlier on that uh, illustrate that example on my website of the vestry hall. Interesting to note that this piece of land that was sold to the developer who bought the Mitcham fire station is still shown as being part of vestry hall. And the way we check for this is use this button here, which is an arrow pointing to an information symbol. And we click there. And on the right hand side, well, in addition, the whole plot is highlighted in red. In addition, we look at the Inspire ID here. Control click, copy attribute value. And then go over to HM Land Registry website, search property ownership information, search by postcode, no, search by Inspire ID. I am not a robot, search. Vestry Hall. That's kind of cool, isn't it? So this I symbol from this icon I arrow is able to identify correctly a plot of land. Let's now have a look at the cricket green. We will zoom out. And I'll also use this hand icon to move the map around a bit and rather worryingly it's all blank we can see this is the london road there was the vestry hall we just confirmed that over here would be the burn bullock can we use the pointer on this no oh, it is blank there is no information in this GIS file for the cricket green, which means which means it's not on the land registry. It doesn't mean we don't know who the owner is, but look at it this way. If you're in the business of assuming that everything that's on the land registry is registered land, therefore that's how you find out who the owner is, the question of who owns the cricket green is a valid question. The answer is, well, it's not registered with the land registry, but that doesn't actually tell us the answer, does it? Oh dear. It was sloppy, isn't it? I wonder why that happened. Let's zoom out. Historically, the cricket green and lower green, which is that bit over there, was part of Mitcham Common. And in 1891, it was owned by the Common Conservators. In 1923, the Mitcham Urban District Council Act defined that the lower green, the cricket green, the upper green, Figs Marsh, Three Kings Peace, and Cranmer Peace, now known as Cranmer Green, would become Town Greens. And hence, the Mitcham Common area was reduced to this side of the railway line, the east side of the railway line, down here, these little bits. Down here to the Croydon end, the Galpins Road. This is the Croydon Road. This is a boundary part of which is Red House Road. This is Bennington Lane. This is the tram line. So the 
Mitcham Common area covers these bits. That's Mitcham Garden Village. But what I'm getting at is that town grains have been registered with the land registry at some point, but not the cricket green and lower green. Sorry, lower green west. Because the cricket green was part of lower green east. Yeah, so the lower green hasn't been registered. You might also have spotted that this area here isn't registered either. That's the London Road playing fields. And also interestingly, this uh, piece of green here in Deer Park Gardens has been registered. Probably, probably a good reason why that hasn't had a block of flats built on it, like Mount Road did over here. Anyway, so I haven't been able to answer the question right now, who owns the cricket green? Based on the GIS information, which is updated as far as the 5th of May 2024, as downloaded from the land registry but before I go I'll quickly show you this map which is this map was produced under the Commons Registration Act of 1965 and the date of the drawing of this map is the 26th of January 1967 and it shows the shaded area of the lower green west and the cricket green in other words, it was known to be a town green at that point. And hence, when it was made a town green in the 1923 Act, that was under the Mitcham Urban District Council, which became the Mitcham Borough Council in 1934, which was abolished in 1964, and the area came under the London Borough Merton, and therefore the London Borough Merton owns the cricket green. Even so, the land's not registered. So, that's my answer, but I'm not a lawyer. And it might take a lawyer to actually go through the legal documentation to prove this. I wonder where it's recorded when the Figs Marsh and the Upper Green and Three Kings Peace were registered in the Land Registry. And why Lower Green West and Cricket Green weren't. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed uh, this video. Um, please press the like button. Um, consider subscribing for more videos, as there will be more. Thank you for watching. Bye.